What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I've got a really short video for you today. I'm going to be talking about the Cold War snipers because a few of them have been nerfed, and I don't really know why because they didn't need a nerf. But a few of them got a nerf. I also checked some of the old snipers just to make sure that things didn't change there. Um, so I'm basically going to give you what the best snipers are right now and the best loadouts for each sniper uh, and where those snipers excel. So we'll jump into it here in a second. But first, if you guys like the content, you like the website, um, consider subscribing, dropping a like, dropping a comment, helps us grow, helps keep the website up. Um, but yeah, let's jump into it and I'll talk about the Cold War Snipers. Alright, so in my video a couple days ago, I talked about the Pellington and how the Pellington had much lower bullet velocity than last time I checked. It was down at like, I think it was like 967 when it used to be up at about 1050. Um, and I had heard rumors of this, I'd had a few people tweet at me and a couple messages on Discord and things. Um, that this had happened, and I just hadn't, hadn't had time to go in, and, go in and check it, so... Um, turns out that they were right, yes, the... It appears the combat recon has been nerfed for some reason, I don't know why. Um, the Pellington was in a good spot before, but now it's kind of pointless, like, there's no reason to use the Pellington over the car, really, anymore. I mean, reload speed, yeah, that's something that would be a benefit to using the Pellington, but... Um, overall, there's just not a lot of reason to use it. You can get no glint as well. But I just don't think that's worth the hit and bullet velocity over the Car 98. Um, so because of that video, when I was comparing it to the Swiss and the uh, other snipers, uh, I decided to go in and check the other snipers today. So I went and tested out the LB3, which used to be the king of bullet velocity. It used to be like 1250. Um, it was the fastest in the game with the combat recon. Um, so I checked it with the Rap Suppressor combat recon, and with that now it is down at 1130. So it's down about 120 from where it was. And it's now significantly slower than both the HDR and the ZRG. Um, so just, just to remind you, the HDR is a little over 1200. It's like 1215-ish, 1210. Um, the ZRG is about 1230, 1240. So the ZRG has the fastest bullet velocity in the game now inside 500 meters. Uh, outside that, I've talked about this in my other videos, but outside that, the ZRG bullet actually slows down faster than the HDR's bullet. Um, so out past like, I don't know, probably 600 meters or so, the... Um, HDR will have a faster average velocity over that distance, but that's not really important because you're not really trying to snipe people at that distance anyway. So inside 500 meters, ZRG has the fastest bullet velocity. Um, I don't know why they did this. I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but um, there's literally no no reason to use the LW3 now. There's no, there's just no reason you'd want to use the ZRG or the HDR. The LW3 has horrible, horrible aim sway, and I've I've highlighted that before. How after your shot, it wobbles a bunch too. So. It's unfortunate, I don't know why they'd make this change, but they did for some reason. Um, and I was wondering if maybe they just mixed up the barrels, so I tested the other barrels as well, and it's still the same. Combat Recon still gives the best bullet velocity of all of them. Um, uh, for the ZRG, interestingly, I just said this, but the ZRG for some reason didn't catch this nerf. So the LW3 and the Pellington and the M82 all had their Combat Recon barrel nerfed so they don't have as high bullet velocity but the zrg somehow dodged that nerf so with the combat recon barrel you still get the same even though this is a cold war gun you still get the same bullet velocity as before so it's it's the fastest still like 12 30 12 40 uh, meters per second over 500 meters and then just to be safe i went and i checked the hdr and the spr because i wanted to make sure that they didn't just like change something for the snipers across the board uh and these are still the same so the hdr is still um, about 1210, 1215, somewhere in there at 500 meters. And then the SPR is still right around, it's like 1180, 1200 meters per second. So there's only four snipers I'd recommend using right now. HDR, SPR with Norma rounds, ZRG, and Car 98. So basically the, it's just like a continuum. So you want to be really aggressive, you're going to use a Car 98. Standard build, monolithic, longest barrel pack laser, um, either regular sniper scope or variable sniper scope. Um, I think most people probably use regular sniper scope. And then three options for the, the last attachment slot would be the aiming stability stock, the ADS stock, or sleight of hand. Sleight of hand is now working again, so you can use sleight of hand again if you want because the Car 98 has a terrible reload time. Um, so those are the three options. Uh, I'd say the most popular is probably the ADS stock, but I personally am a huge fan of the precision comb stock for uh, aiming stability. Uh, it's my favorite thing to use. Um, but yeah, sleight of hand's a good option too. And then next up after that would probably be the SPR. So the SPR is kind of the middle ground right now. It has good bullet velocity, good ADS times, 
Um, slightly better ADS times than the ZRG, but slightly worse bullet velocity. But it has a really good reload time. Um, it's just a great sniper all around. One of the absolute best. So if we go build that real fast, um, you want monolithic, longest barrel. A lot of people ask me if Dragoon Barrel is viable, and it's really, really not. The bullet velocity is so, so slow with just the Dragoon. Um, Dragoon in normal rounds even is still really slow, so I would just recommend building it like a normal sniper and using the longest barrel. I wish the Dragoon was a little bit faster, like maybe split the difference between where it is and, and this barrel. That way we could maybe have some fun uh, no tracer sniper builds. That would be really cool. Um, but unfortunately, can't do that. And just a side note, if you didn't know this, because this is an integrated suppressor, the Dragoon barrel, it does not have tracers. So that is the fun thing about it, is you can kind of be like a super sneaky sniper. People don't... Uh, don't know where you're shooting from when you use the Dragoon Barrel, but like I said, Bullet Velocity is terrible, so it's hard to use. Hard to use at any sort of range. So Monolithic, Longest Barrel, Tac Laser. Um, Norma Rounds give the best Bullet Velocity. Uh, Lapua Rounds uh, have quite a bit slower Bullet Velocity, so you always want to stick with Norma Rounds. And, and having no ammunition, like no Norma or Lapua, you get terrible, terrible Bullet Velocity, so you really want to use Norma. It's pretty much essential for this build. And then, you know, standard sniper scope or variable zoom. Because the standard sniper scope has worse zoom than, like, the Car 98, I tend to use the variable zoom, and then I just always leave it on the high zoom version. Uh, that gets you a little bit more zoom than the Car 98 standard sniper scope, which is kind of what you'd want this to be. This is kind of a, in the middle. It's more aggressive than a ZRG or an HDR. Much better fire rate, much better ADS times. But uh, it's it just has a little bit lower bullet velocity. Um, and then the next up, I would say it's kind of a tie between the HDR and the ZRG. I personally prefer the ZRG. It just feels a lot better, has a much better fire rate. Um, but the standard build for this would be monolithic, longest barrel, tack laser. Um, this is the build that all the, the big uh, like recon guys like Iron, Shaded, Yeet, Visa, all these guys use. The ADS stock, variable zoom, tack laser, longest barrel, monolithic. Um, there's some things you can swap out of this if you want. Um, you could take off, you could take off variable zoom and just use the default sniper scope if you want another slot. Um, but really, if you're doing long range sniping, you really do want that variable zoom. Uh, it's the the standard scope does not have that much zoom. It's a little bit less than the SPR variable, so it's just not very much zoom overall. But you could do this if you wanted, and you can put sleight of hand on there. Um, another option would be to keep that variable zoom and put the champion stock on there. This is much slower ADS, and like I said, none of the big guys use this, so it's probably not the right choice. But for me personally, I really like using the champion stock. I love high aiming stability, and the champion stock gives you insanely good aiming stability. Like, you barely even have to hold your breath, even at, like, extreme ranges. But like I said, I prefer the ZRG to the HDR. Um, standard build for this would just be... Uh, five round mag, longest barrel, so combat recon barrel, agency suppressor, serpent wrap. Serpent wrap does give the best ADS time still. I've confirmed this on multiple guns. I'm pretty sure across the board, serpent wrap for Cold War guns gives you the best ADS times. Um, and then the last attachment's kind of up in the air. Uh, we don't really have a great option for this right now. You could put uh, you could put the ember sighting point on there or something to increase your damage range by a little bit. But I mean... You're sniping, you're trying to hit people in the head anyway, so you don't really need that. And this, obviously, all these snipers one shot to the head at any range. Um, but I love this gun. I usually run it with a bipod. Um, unfortunately, the bruiser grip, even though it says it helps with aiming stability, does not. But the ZRG has pretty good aiming stability anyway. Um, so you don't really need that. I mean, obviously, it would be nice. And, it, and if it did work, I would be using the bruiser grip. But because it doesn't work, I don't use it. Um, same with uh, airborne elastic wrap still does not do anything for aiming stability even though it says it does So this is really frustrating I wish they'd fix that because I would totally swap to airborne and bruiser as soon as they fix that because this would have great aiming stability It would still have pretty good ADS times Fantastic bullet velocity fantastic fire rate and it recenters really well, too I covered that in my ZRG video. I'll link that below if you want to check that out I kind of made a case for why I think the ZRG is a better option than most of the other snipers in the game right now in that video So everything I said in that video still holds true just kind of wanted to make an update video on snipers uh, and let you guys see all of the uh, changes to bullet velocity and things like that because it makes a big difference. Makes bullet velocity is the most important thing with a sniper rifle just because it determines how much you have to lead somebody, how much you have to uh, shoot over their head for the bullet drop and things like that. So for some reason they nerfed the LW3, the Pellington, the M82. Um, 
The M82 is all the way down at like 800 meters per second now, which is just painfully slow. I don't know why they would do that because the guns were kind of in a unique place before where the LW3 had the best, best, best bullet velocity, but it had a lot of downsides too. So if you wanted that bullet velocity, you had to deal with those downsides. Now it's like it has those downsides and you can just use a different gun that doesn't have those downsides and has more bullet velocity. Same with the Pellington. The Pellington was in a unique spot where it kind of traded blows with the Car 98. And now it just doesn't. It's like, why would you use the Pellington over the Car 98? You just, there's no reason to right now, except no glint. But glint is, it's nice to be no glint, but it's worth it to have all the advantages of the, the Car 98 over that. So I don't know. Just wanted to cover all the new sniper changes for you guys and help you build the best loadouts with all of them. Um, as always, if you guys like the, the video, consider dropping a sub, like, comment. It helps us grow, helps keep the website up. We're constantly working hard trying to get things up to date there's just so much going on that obviously we're always behind but we're doing the best we can so uh, bear with us on that but as always hope you guys like the video and i'll see you all in the next one